Hi everybody, this is Mama Sue and I've got a really neat video for you today. We're going to be making these beautiful dangly earrings. I hope my camera is focusing in good today. But they're they're really long and pretty on you. See, see how they are? Now this one was made with an old necklace. I had a really old necklace and uh, that was given to me to use for crafts. And this is the press glass, uh, the old press glass beads uh, that I'm using on this. See there? It'll look beautiful done up. But it's pretty easy to make. So what we're going to do is let's bring this over here and let me show you what we need. We're going to need, we're only going to make one earring because we've got one made. So we're going to need one earring wire. We're going to need one of the big big beads here. We're going to need three of the small ones and one of these loops. Also, we're going to need three wires cut in three different sizes, which I'm going to cut that for you. Then we're going to need one of these big wires. This is a really heavy wire here. This is just an old a piece of wire that you can get from a, uh, Ace Hardware. This is not going through your ear, so it's okay to use that. Now it's measured, this one is measured 5 inches. Um, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to learn how to wire wrap. We're going to wrap wire around. We're going to put bins in this wire and wrap it on and put a bead on and then we're going to uh, put another circle and wrap it. And that's all done with just this piece of wire and a, and a bead and the large bead. Now I do want to watch to see what size I make the hole because um, that'll I want the earrings to match. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put this about oh about halfway on here like this. Then I'm just gonna start turning it and turning it and turning it. Now I'm gonna move my pliers up because I want this to go all the way around. So I'm going to just turn it all the way like that. Let's see how that's gone all the way around. See? There you go. Now I'm going to grab, I'm going to check this and make sure it's the same size as my other one. I'm going to turn that where you can see it too. Yeah, that's pretty close. By the time I wind it, it'll be that same size. Then I'm going to grab a hold. The side that I've turned into a circle, I'm going to grab it with my flat nose pliers. As a matter of fact, you're going to be using the flat nose pliers. You're going to use the cutters and the round nose pliers. Now that I've got a hold of this, I'm going to grab, oops, I want to hold on to this with my, with this one here so that I can use my flat nose to twist the wire around the wire, the other wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around and around this way. So I'm going to start to turn it. I might have to resituate my, um, my circle sometimes. I grab it and I twist it around. Oop. You gotta hold onto this real tight or it'll pull out on you. And I'm gonna switch hands because I'm right-handed. I don't know why I grabbed that with the left. But here we go. Now let's just twist that wire around. And how many times did we do it on here? Let's check. Okay, this one went, oh, I'd say two to three times around. We can go one more time. And then I'm going to tighten it up by sticking this thing here and pushing down on the edge of the wire. Push that up close. Well, I can still turn it a little more. There we go. Now let's check that out. Let's see if that's looking pretty close to the other side. 
It's, it's pretty close. I'm not too worried about it. Now I'm just going to even it out a little bit. Turn it this way a little bit, just to even it out a little bit. This is really hard wire. You might want to use a softer wire when you're first learning how to do this stuff. You may want to use a softer wire. See there? Then you cut off that little edge. Let me cut off that edge. Make sure you hold on to that so you don't leave that piece flying around your ass. Okay, now we're just going to squish that little piece in. See how we've got a little piece hanging there? We want that we want that hanger to be pushed back in. I'm going to put my pliers in here and push it up a little. Then I'm going to squish it down. See there? See how that squished in real nice? Now let's put this up to the ear ring and see what we got. Well, let me put it up this way. Now those are pretty darn close. Now it looks like we've got almost a perfect match there. I can't show you very good. I'm sorry about that. But let me put the bead on so you can see where we're at. Here's the bead. I want to put that bead on there. doesn't go on just give it a little nudge I want to see if these are the same size I want to see if I've wrapped it about the same now if you notice these are when you put these side by side uh, the holes I can't show you hang on a second and I'll show you See, these are pretty close, but this one, well, that one's not in yet. They're pretty close, but I think I'm going to squash that one up a little bit more so that it's not longer than the other earring. So I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit like, like that. Then I'm going to stick my pliers inside of the circle right here and on the side of the wire. And I'm just going to pull it up. And then I'm gonna pull, and then I'm gonna go to the other side and pull that side up. I can always turn twist this a little bit, but if you'll notice, that brought it up quite a bit to where it'll match the other side. I'll show you. See now they're about in the same place. Oh yeah, they're very good. Now on the other side, I like to just, I like to put this plier right in the middle right there. Just on the one, that, now there's another uh, round nose plier that goes all the way up to here. The round part is all the way up to here. You would want to just put it near the end on that one or mark it with a felt pen to make sure that you're putting naked in the circles the same size. So on this one I am going to I always put mine right around the middle. I push it one way just like that. Now if you'll notice I've got it pushed one way. I push the wire all one way. Then I'm going to bring my needle nose pliers or my round nose pliers up to the top like that. See how it's on the top now? It was down here. Now it's up here. And then I'm going to wrap this the opposite direction over the top of the bead. Like that. Then I'm going to move my wire, um, um, my round nose, and, and so that I can pull that wire all the way around. Now the wire has gone all the way around. Let me show you there. And I've got just enough space to do some wrapping. See there? Now let's put it up to the other one and make sure we got it about the right size before we start wrapping. Now if you look at this uh, uh, next to the other one, let me get this 
Let me put this here so you can see better. There's that one. And here's this one. Now it looks like we've got those pretty close to the same size. So I'm going to start wrapping this other side. It's a been, been a while since I put these beads together and got ready to make a tutorial. So I'm having to really check good because I don't want to make them the wrong size. Okay, now what I'm going I'm to do is I'm going to hang on to that with my flat nose pliers. Hang on to that ring part. See the ring part there? I'm going to be hanging on to that as close as I can to the edge there. See, see what I mean? Then I'm going to wrap that wire around and around this way till I get to the end. I'm going to be taking my finger. I'm going to use this to hold on to as I'm, and then my thumb will come up. And then my, um, my finger will come up and bend that wire around. So I'm going to put my finger on the wire and I'm holding on to the bead. And I'm, I've got my finger on the wire and I'm just going to push that wire. Then I grab it with my thumb and push. Then my finger and push. And I think I'm going to go around one more time. Got to hang on to that thing or it'll come loose like it just did on me. Now I've got that wire three times around there, so I think that's enough. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut off all this excess. Just cut it off right here somewhere. I'm going to hang on to this wire so I don't lose it. Because I don't want that in anybody's feet. And for me, it always lands in my feet. <laughs> now I want to squish in that leftover piece there. See that leftover piece there? I want to squash that in. And that's what I'm doing right now. You're better if you hang on to this one end, because then it doesn't move around on you. And just go around and around and around, just with the tip of your pliers, and squash that in. And then you want to um, have one of these wires facing one direction, one facing the other direction, like this one. You see how one of them's going straight at you, where you can see the hole, and one of them's going uh, straight up and down. We want them bent in that direction. Let me see if you can see this. See, one's flat open here, and one of them's in the other direction, going straight up and down. Let me show you. I want you to understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Let me get a wire and show you. This one is going in a round circle right here. And this one is going straight up and down. The circle is, is on the other direction on the bottom. So that's what we want to make sure that we have with this one. Like these are both going in almost the same direction right now. But I'm going to twist one of them so that it's going in the opposite direction of the other one. So I'm going to hold on to one end with one plier and one end with the other plier. And I'm just going to twist. Well, I'm going to twist it this way because I don't want to loosen any of those wires. Now I've got one going in one direction and one going in the other direction, if you can see that. That's what we want. I'm going to flatten this, eye, this one down a little bit more because I noticed my little twist pulled it out a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Just right. Almost just right. 
There we go. I'm going to straighten it. Do all my fiddling with it right now before I put it together. Before I put the necklace pieces on. Because you can't very well do that after you get the necklace pieces on. Turn this just a little bit more. It's not quite there yet. There it is. It's there now. See the circles at the top and then the circles facing in the other direction at the bottom. Just so that you realize what we're doing there. Oh, this gives the best picture showing you on here. And then here's the other one right next to it. You can see how close we got uh, in size. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make these little danglies. These are very simple to make. All you need... Oh, and I got the wrong ones here. Let me grab some other ones. I grabbed the ones with the, the T's on them. Oh, no, that is the right ones. <laughs> Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to cut these all different sizes. Like one of them you're going to cut, like I'm going to cut one of them in half. And I'll do that right now. They don't have to be perfect, but when you do them, try to cut these at the same time, like cut two at a time, so that you're cutting all your sizes the same size, because you're going to want them the same size when you're getting ready to put this thing together. There's one. And now, let me match this up, because we're going to want one in the in-between size, because we want them to lay in layers, the way they're laying in layers here. So, the next cut is going to be in between this size and this size. It's going to be in between this size and the total size. So we're going to cut it right about here, right in the middle. So I'm going to put, I'm going to separate these just a little bit so you can see that. See the different, see the different sizes there? I'm going to cut this wire here in the middle of those two wires. Then I'll show you. Or thereabouts. Make sure you catch that wire. Make sure you hang on to that wire so you don't. It doesn't fly around. Okay, now let me show you. I've got three different sizes now. I've got this one, this one, and this one. And they're all different sizes now. Now i got to make them, i got to put the bead on them uh, and make them up. I'm going to show you how to how to make them up, but I do have some made up already to make the video quicker. But I'm going to show you how to put these together first. Uh-oh, I'm missing some beads. Uh oh let me just reach right here and get some more. I thought I had all my beads out here. And here's a black one. First, we're going to put our our bottom bead on. See how you got a bottom bead there? The bottom bead is the blue one. Then you've got a black one. Then you've got three little seed bead. This is a seed bead too, but it's a bigger one. And then you got three of the silver ones. So I'm going to grab one of my one of my blue ones. And see, I'm using the flat nose needle, jewelry needle. You can find those um, at Walmart uh, or any craft store you go to. You'll be all right. Okay, now I've got that one on there. Now we're going to go to the black. Well, there's the black. Just like what we've got here. And then we're going to go three silver. Just for the time saving, I'm just going to use these beads here because I don't have my silver out. Okay, there's three beads. 
See there? We're going to pretend those are silver. Then you're going to come up here to the top. See how the top, we have a little wire just bent. It's just bent around enough to touch the other side. That's what we're going to do to the top of each of these wires. After we put our, we're going to put the beads on, on these other two wires, the same way as this one. And then we're going to uh, just put that little curl in the top. The way we do that is we take our round nose pliers. I put it around the middle. And we're going to just bend it, just like this. Well, let me show you this way. We're going to bend it. See how the wire's bending? And then I'm going to move it up so I can bend it the rest of the way until it touches the wire. Okay, now it's touching. I believe it's touching. There it goes. Now it's touching. Then I'm going to come down here to the edge where it's touching, and I'm just going to move it back a little bit just to make that little circle go to the middle. That's close, but I'm going to make it a little bit more. And then I'm going to tighten it right there. Now a lot of people, so that they never lose their danglies, will take a little jewelry glue and just touch that thing before, instead of making the making it all the way, or they'll they'll weld them so that they don't come apart. See, that that's fine right where it's at. It could be a little straighter up. And yes, I am picky about that, so I will get it right now. Now, that's right in the middle, but you want to make sure that's closed all the way. So make sure you, you can even take it and squash it just a teeny, teeny bit. You're going to hang on to that wire squash it a little. I'd rather not do it that way though because sometimes you over squash it. And that one is just right. See there? Now that's one of your little danglies. That's the biggest one right there. See there? That's it. Now I've already made some ahead so I'm not going to finish these other two. Or I'll do one more just so, so that I'll just do the curling so that you remember how to do that curling. I grab a hold of the tip. See, it's in the tip there. Then I start, I just hang on to it and start twisting it around the plier. Now I move the plier up. See how far it's gotten? Then I move the plier up a little bit so I can get all the way around. And see how I can see the wire right there at the edge? I'll look at that. Put that right there. Now I'm going to bring my plier right down to this edge where you see that little piece sticking out. And I'll push it the other in the other direction. See there? I can't focus in too much better on this. I hope you see that. See how nice that came out? It's very easy to make these. And let's do it one more time, just so that you get it. And you put your beads on first, just like we did with the first one. You grab a hold. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this one bigger. I'm going to put it all the way to the back. The back of this right here. Right the end right there. I'm going to put it right there. See where I got it? Just so you can see it real good. Then I'm going to start twisting it. Twisting it. Now you notice it stopped because I couldn't go all the way around. So I'm bringing that back up. Like this. And then I'm going to go the rest of the way around. Now you got to make sure you're hanging on these pliers real firmly on these handles. Then I'm going to bring it around again, right to where it's, the metal touches, and I'll push it the other way. Now let me show you. That's the way that came out. See, it's not a, a rocket science or anything. Now I'm, I'm going to flatten this one out so that 
just for, so it's more even. See there? I've got a little bit of an opening on that one, but you have to open it to put it on the bracelet anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I don't like to open this part to put it on because I don't like to weaken it. So I'm just going to make that match real good. There you go. Now that's right where it needs to be. See there? Well, maybe not right where it needs to be. It's close. But it's closed really well. Now we're going to need, I'm going to go ahead and get my, the ones I made. I already made three of them. So I'm going to pull those out. I'll just pull it on here. One, two, three. Now here's the three I made. And they're all in different sizes. Just like when we cut the wires. We've got different sizes like this. Now I'm going to put them on a ring. A ring like this. This ring is kind of like a keychain because it's got the openings that you slide it on like a keychain. You don't lose these as much, so I like to use these, especially on these danglies. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one, I'm going to put the small one, the large one, then the medium, so that it's laying like this on the ring. See there? I'm going to put them like that on the ring. Let me show you how to open this ring. These can be tricky, but once you get used to them, you're going to just love these things because they really hold on to your necklace. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull this open like that. Now, you see how I did that? I grabbed this one little piece near the edge of the opening, and I pulled out. Then I pushed my my pliers, I mean my wire down, and I'm hanging onto this real tight so that there's a nice big opening there. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to put the earring on, and that'll hold that, that opening. See how I put that on there? Just like that. Put that earring on there. Push it in just a little bit. Then I'm going to take my small, well, which one is this? How is this one? Look up. This one is the small, the medium, and the large. So I'm going to go to the medium, small, medium, and large. So I'm putting one on. Can you see that? I'm putting one on. Wait a minute. Okay, that opening is still there. So now I can put these on. Here's one. See, I just stuck one on. Still on that opening. Two, this is the large one. And three, this is the uh, medium one. Just like that. Now I'm going to grab hold of this ring just on the top there and I'm just going to slide these back like you're sliding a keychain. Oops, I started sliding them in the wrong direction. Yes, <laughs> just a minute. Let's do this again. I'm going to put on the small. I was looking at the camera picture instead of looking at the earring. I started doing it backwards. <laughs> There's the small. There's the large. I think I'm going to have to open that hole again. Large and medium. I like to stick them all on at the same time so I don't have to, so that I just finish the earring really quick. And there's the 
medium one. Yeah, a second. You find that all. Oh, my eyes are getting blurry. If you hold that circle in the right direction, you can get that on there. There, now I got them all on there. They're all on there. Now I've just got to slide them like a keychain, which is what I was going to tell you earlier. You slide them until you hear the clicks, three clicks. There's one, two, three. Oh, no, three didn't go on. There, now all three went on. All three clicks there. And when you stand it up, voila! You've got everything on at once. All your danglies and all your prettiness is on there right now. Now let me get the other one. I want to see which way the dangle is. I want to see which side the small's on on the on this one. Okay, the small's on that side. So we're going to put the small one on. We're going to put this on the earring this way so that they're even. You know, there is different ways to put these things on. Let me set this down here. Now we're going to put our ear wire on. On these ear wires that you buy in the store, the opening is always the opening is always on the back. So we're just going to bend it out like that, and we're going to stick the whole thing on. And let me see how I wanted this on. Well, if it's not right, I'll just switch it around. Let me see if I got it on the right side. Yes, I did. Then you're going to close this circle by grabbing a hold of it and just kind of give it a little back and forth motion until it snugs up against the metal. And flatten it. And there you go. Now here's the whole set together. That's all there is to it. This, these are done. But look what a lovely set this makes. Look what a lovely set this is. Lovely set of earrings. Let me put a space between them. Look how pretty those are. It just makes a great pair of earrings. Now, if you choose, you can always uh, make your own earrings. To make your own earring, I'll show you how to make it right now. I mean, to make your own earring wire. But to make your own earring wire, I'm going to clip this little head off this one because I don't want a head, I want a circle for the... Um, you, you do the same thing. You make that little circle right there on the tip like we were making when we were making the the tops of those danglies. You make that little circle on the top like that. Just like that. You, you can close it a little more. But it's not important right now because you haven't put the earring on it yet. That's going to be the bottom of your earring. Now where the opening is, that's going to be the back of your earring. So what you're going to want to do is just put your your round nose or your flat nose, it really doesn't matter with this. You want it to go in the opposite direction. Oh no. You want to go toward the uh, opening. Then you've got that little bin there. Now what you're going to do is grab a pencil. Mm, let me see. I didn't plan on doing this, but I always end up showing people how to do this. Because it's so easy and saves you a lot of Well, it doesn't save you a lot of money. These don't cost very much. But if you don't have it, what you're going to do is you're going to put the side that's pointing up. The side that's bent up. Can you see that? Okay, the side that's bent up, you're going to put against the pencil or whatever you have to bend it. Then you're going to 
hold on to it tight, and just wrap the other end around. Just like that. And it makes a nice little wire. I'm going to squish that in a little bit more. It makes a nice little wire there. Then, then all you're going to do is bend that little end tip out. Grab a hold of that. Bend it out. And there you go. Your own wire. Now what I do like about these is they're much larger than the other wires. Let me get a wire and show you the difference. Uh, let me see. Here's one. Look at the difference in size. <coughs> Excuse me. The difference in size. There's a little bit of difference in size on these. See there? The one you made is quite a bit bigger. Or the one I made. It's quite a bit bigger when you make them yourself. And sometimes I like that because they stay on your ears better. So, and then you can always put a little bead up here if you want to. Uh, let me grab a little bead. A seed bead or, or a pretty bead or anything you can put on there. And it looks nice. But I put a, like a little dab of glue or crazy glue or something. I put something down there. And then look at that. <laughs> Cute. You can bend this a little bit more if you want to. There. Look how cute that is. Makes a cute little earring wire, but I don't have the glue on there. But you can, you get the get the gist. Okay, well today that's what we've got. That beautiful pair of earrings we made. Let me show you again. And just to show you that you can take old jewelry and make yourself some really fancy new jewelry. And, and it's not a lot of work. That was pretty quick to make. You know, and I was going slow trying to show you, but I'll tell you what, when I'm making these things, because I've gotten used to it, I just whip them right out. It doesn't take me a long time. The thing that takes me a long time is coming up with a new design. And this is my new design for this week. Okay, well, y'all have a good day, and thanks for watching. God bless you.